Okay, so here again, day three on the river, going for sturgeon. I decided to use a slightly heavier equipment today, so I brought this baby with me. It's loaded with 50 pound braid. Of course, I'll be just putting on a pickerel rig, but yeah. And it's a nice rod, flexible, and we'll see if I can't hook into sturgeon today. Well, do more than hook and catch it, because I hooked in yesterday. I finally got a stinking fish, red horse. Just like the other day, it's a very regular size red horse with a beautiful red fin. Okay, so I was fishing there for about 20 minutes. Only got one red horse. So that is pretty pathetic. So I'm gonna move because there's no fish in an area where they keep fishing, right? So I'm gonna move and see if I can't catch more fish where I'm going right now. I hope so, or else maybe I'll actually go sleep. So we're at graveyard shift, and got about like four hours of sleep last night. Pretty epic. So I had to get up for a stupid haircut. Oh yeah, if you notice, I'm bald pretty well. Got a lot of hair cut off. Oh well. If I'm not gonna go bald with old age, might as well go bald with haircuts. Okay, so got a fish on right now. Don't know what it is. Riding pretty good. Oh, it's just a really big white sucker. So yeah, it's a really big sucker, and just wait till you see the growths on this thing. It's nasty. Hardly even want to touch it with the gross on it. Ew, gross, look at that. Look at that growth on it. That is nasty, it's like bleeding through it. That is some seriously sick, sick growth. And it's got a little bit on this side too. Mostly it's, just, oh look at that. Yeah, it's literally oozing blood through that growth. I'm gonna go put it back in the water right now, but. I'm surprised he's alive with a big... How does he even swim with that? Holy... That is nasty. I've seen a lot of growths on fish, but that is the worst growth I've ever seen on a fish. I'm literally in shock that that thing's still alive. Oh, back to fishing, I guess. I don't really want to see any more fish that disgusting, though. Just hooked into another sucker, so... Can we release him? Just a red horse. Okay, I got a nice fish on. I don't know what it is yet. A big red horse, but it's not the type that I mean, I'm catching earlier. Okay, there you go. So that's a big sucker. So you can see that that's a red horse, but it doesn't have the red tail because there's two types of red horse suckers in Alberta. Yet another red horse. It was just packed with them. Let's see. Just another typical red horse with that beautiful red fin. Yeah, good little fighters, scrappy. Get another fish. Another red horse. This little scrappy guy. Little scrappy guy, eh? That's probably the smallest one I've caught today. A beautiful red fins. Not many fish like that around here. Yeah, they got the beautiful coloration. And this one's even got a little bit on the top in there. Not sure if you'll be able to see that on the film. Get another fish. This one feels like a really good one, actually. I what it is. 
Oh, that's a really big sucker. Uh, just a big, normal white sucker. Good biters. But of course, that's the type of fish that most fishermen don't want. So, oh well. Okay, caught another one. Just the white sucker. sized white sucker. Nothing special. Still fight, keeps you entertained. That's about all that you can ask for. Got another fish. Pretty usual. And what is it? It's just the sucker as always. Okay, so just a nice normal sucker. Just a white sucker. Okay, got another fish on, surprise, surprise. And it's actually going behind my camera right now. It's going, what are you doing, fish? I have never had one go behind my camera. That one wanted to go that way, so I'll net it over here, I guess. He went for a dive in the mud. He'll notice that his face is covered with mud. Yet again, a beautiful red tail, and nice fish. Can't complain. Good little sport. Okay, get another fish. Looks like it's gonna be a good sucker. Fighting like crazy, this guy. He does not want to come in. Oh, I snagged him, that's why he's not coming in. Okay, so there's the fish. It's actually a long nose sucker this time. And what happened was I actually had him snagged on the side and that's why he fought so hard, because this is not a very big fish. So yeah, but yeah, you can see the long nose on there. And that's why it's called a long nose sucker. There you go. Just a common white sucker. Nothing special, but they do fight well. So it's a lot of fun. Well, there you have it. Another day on the river. Still didn't catch that stinging sturgeon. But I caught a ton of, ton of suckers. So that was fun. Because honestly, if you're fishing in the river, obviously a sturgeon would be great because it weighs a lot and it does fight a lot. But if you're just out here to have fun and catch a bunch of fish, you cannot go wrong with suckers. And I honestly don't know many people that try to eat fish out of the river because of the mercury that is present in the fish. So, really?